secondary for Buffalo is going to force Kyle Van Treese into a few mistakes and keep this game a lot closer than they would want. Looking at the last few games before bowl season, Georgia Southern is allowing 36.3 points in their previous four, while Buffalo is giving up 27.7 points in their last three games. The Eagles' defense has not shown the ability to keep their opponents out of the end zone, while the Bulls have put up more than a fight, it's specifically in the running game. All in all, I'm telling you here, go with the Buffalo Bulls getting 4.5 points and even sprinkle an additional half unit on the money line as well. For a total, this total has jumped 2.5 points since the game became public, so people are betting on points to be flying onto the board in this one. However, this feels a little too high right now. Both of these teams struggle against the running game, so the clock is going to be consistently clicking down and have a lot less total plays being called. These offenses as of late have not been putting up anywhere near enough points as Georgia Southern are averaging 26 points in their last three and Buffalo 25.3 in their previous four. The under has hit in the last four neutral site games for the Eagles as well as in four of the previous five Bulls games played in December so we got to go under here in this one. So let's go with two and a half plays. Well we'll go with one unit Bulls plus four and a half, one, half a unit, money line Bulls, and one unit, Georgia Southern, Buffalo, under 66 and a half. What say you though? Let me know in the comment section. Are you liking it, hating it, tailing it, fading it? What are you doing? Let me know. I will reply to each and everybody. Whatever it is you do, tail or fade, may the winner be yours. Good luck, gang. Go get them. And let's see you in the next bowl game. This is Trending Rabbit.